I'm using Microsoft Word to write a book about access. This table is formatted the way I like, and I want to be able to save this format to use again. Hi, this is Crystal. The first step is to make a blank table to use for a template. To select the table you like the format of, move the mouse to just above and to the left outside the table. A plus sign in a box will appear. When you move your mouse directly over the table handle, a four-headed arrow is added to the pointer. If you're having trouble seeing the table handle, it helps to click somewhere in the table and then scoop back over with the mouse. Click on the table handle to select the whole table or just right-click only to get a shortcut menu. Table Properties pops up another dialog box with lots of options to control the table format, but we're not getting into that today. You can also press Ctrl-C to copy the table. Move to some blank space and paste. You can right-click and choose Paste, or press Ctrl-V, or Paste from the ribbon. We don't want the template table to have any data. Select the table by clicking on its handle and press the delete key. Notice <laughs> the table didn't go away. Only the data in the table got deleted. Now that the template table is as desired, select the table. From the ribbon, choose Insert table, quick tables. Existing templates are listed. Word has a lot of built-in choices. Look at the bottom of the list. Pick Save Selection to Quick Tables Gallery. Since the choice ends with dot dot dot, a dialog box pops up when you pick it. The dialog box will also have a cancel button. So anytime you see dot 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 after a choice, it's safe to keep on exploring. In the dialog box that pops up, enter a name for the format. This is what will appear in the list of table templates to pick from. I'll start my name with S4P, short for my screen name, Strive for Peace. That way I'll be able to quickly find it again. You can change which gallery of choices the new format will be listed in. I'll leave it in Tables. You can also change which category it's in. Again, I'll leave it set to the default, built in. Just like an access form, press the Tab key to move to the next control. The description is where you can get wordy and long. Next is where the table template will be saved. This is important to know if you want to share your templates with others so you know which file to get <laughs> and give to them. Again, I'll leave this on the default choice, and the last default choice is fine too. Click OK or press Enter when done. We don't need this template table here anymore. But we can't press the delete key, can we, to get rid of it? Well, what do we do? The template table is still selected. Press Control X to cut it. We don't plan to paste it anywhere, but pressing delete only deletes the contents. You can also cut from the home ribbon. Or right click and cut. Continue writing. What I just wrote should be a heading. Heading 3, heading 2. Oh, okay, heading 3 was right. On a slight deviation, let me just say that using styles gives you a lot of power in Word. You can turn on the styles pane by clicking the little launcher icon in the lower right corner of the styles group on the home ribbon tab. Here's a good spot for another table. Insert, Table, Quick Tables, and scroll to pick the table format just saved. There it is! 
picket, and voila, a table layout that I can start putting data in. If you decide you don't want to keep a layout, you can delete it. To get to it, pretend to use it again. Insert, Table, Quick Tables, and scroll to the table format. This list is alphabetical by name. When you hover over a name, you see its description, too. Don't click it to pick it. Right-click for the shortcut menu. From here, you can choose Organize and Delete, dot, dot, dot. Notice the dot, dot, dot on the end? When the dialog box pops up, the layout we were on is chosen. You could select another layout, too. Guess what's next? If you were thinking to click the delete button at the bottom, you're right! Bingo! Confirm that is what you really want to do, and it's gone. I'm still sketching out this book, so what's written is far from finished. Oh my, regular expressions. So far from regular. That would be like assuming that everyone knows Latin and Greek. Hopefully, this will sift regular expressions down to essentials and remove some of that mystery. Knowing when to use regular expressions and being able to write a very elegant pattern can sometimes save a ton of code. There is a trade-off, though. This section is still a draft, as is the table in access with the symbols and descriptions. At any rate, I want to put the data so far in access into Word, where the table is formatted by the template I saved. You're right, I did delete it, but I made it again. I make a new table from the template, which gives me five rows. I have more, but that's okay. Unlike Excel, though, when you copy cells from Access, the header row with the object name and the field names at the top of each column are appended to the selection. In this case, I don't want them, just the data. So copy from Access, paste to Word, delete the top rows, and cut the rest, 24 rows by two columns. That doesn't really matter, though. Select the first cell of the first row in the new table and paste. Word will expand the table to accommodate the extra data. <laughs> awesome! There it is. The symbol column will show up better centered. I'm still writing this section of the book, so down the road the contents of this table will be replaced, and I'll also sort them differently. Sometime, you'll see another book on the shelves about access. Meanwhile, I count on Word to help me. You've learned how to save a table layout in Word, and you see how to get the data in when you need to copy and paste. Now go write something fantastic! If you're looking for a one-on-one -on -one remote tutor, you found me. I can help you with access. I can also help you with Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and lots more. We connect, and we work together on whatever it is you need help with. You learn, and your work gets done. Thanks for joining me. Through sharing, we'll all get better.